Here is how you create an invoice using Google Sheet. But first, let me introduce you to the template itself. This is the main template for invoice, and I do have a database where all the invoices are stored. Now, let's go back to our uh, invoice template here. We're going to start off with uh, creating a drop down for invoice number here so that the user can select the invoice. And then after that, go to data, data validation. And in here on this pop up, you're going to click on add new rule criteria. We're going to change the drop down from a range and we're going to specify the range for the invoice here. Go to your database worksheet here and basically highlight the entire invoice. I do recognize that they do have a repeated invoice because some of the invoice have multiple product but uh, the Google worksheet actually filters out and creates a unique list here. Now to uh, make it more infinity, to expand by itself, you're going to have to get rid of the last row number here like this and click on OK and click on done and close this menu on the side here. Now if you go back to your invoice template, you can see that you do have a list of invoice that's available for you to select. Now to populate the PO number, let's start from the very first set of function. This formula here searches for the text in cell E5 in your database worksheet in column B3 to all the way to the very last row on your database and returns the position of the first character where the match is found for each row or an error message if no match is found. If you're wondering why I'm using the array formula function here, it simply ensures that the find is applied to the entire range rather than a single cell itself. Now we can pull all the numeric values only from the array using the isNumber function along with the match function. And after that, we can use the index function to get the PO number from column C of your database worksheet here like this. Now to populate the PO date, simply change the column C to column D, which is our PO date and hit enter and then you'll get your PO date. Now to populate the invoice template itself, use a filter function to get the product quantity unit and amount from your database worksheet here using the condition that the invoice number matches the invoice on your drop down list. And there you go. Now you have your personalized invoice worksheet that queries your own customized database.